What's going on guys? If you think back a couple of months ago, or maybe even a little bit longer than that, I can't remember exactly when this was talked about, but a little while ago Nintendo mentioned that their next platform at some point would be about personal health and other things like that, which kind of gave us a little bit of a Wii kind of feel because, you know, the Wii had a Wii, Wii Sports and at some point, you know, it had um, the Wii Fit Trainer teaching you how to do yoga moves. It, it was basically all centered around personal health and it was kind of like a nice gimmick back then, it made the Wii sell, excuse me, the Wii sell like crazy, but we had an announcement of a personal health system at some point that was going to be coming in the works. Now, some people think it's the NX, other people don't. We've probably received some kind of information around the way that made people say it wasn't the NX, but still, their personal health system, console, whatever the hell it may be, hasn't really been shown yet. And remember, they announced the Vitality Sensor, Vitality Sensor a little while ago, but we didn't really see any follow-up with it as Nintendo kind of basically cut it off. But not in a, like an official way, but they said, you know what, we're going to be working on this concept a little bit later with certain other things that we have. So the vitality sensor kind of got, you know, put on the back burner for now. So maybe this is going to be something that involves that because we have an article from Nintendo Everything which showcases some patents that Nintendo has for their quality of life platform, which is apparently still in the making. Let's see exactly what's going on here because these could be concepts that we could see in the final version of the product. Excuse me, I just drank a ton of water, so I'm like gurgling up. But um, apparently these concepts, in terms in terms of like the blueprints and whatnot, aren't something that you can rely on for the final product. But they do give us a little bit of a window as to what the quality of life platform is aiming for. I wish it had like a direct name, but um, it doesn't. So we're just going to call it the quality platform from now on. Anyways, so some patents from Nintendo's quality of life platform. Yesterday, several patents relating to Nintendo's planned quality of life platform were published. As previously announced, they mostly seem to center around monitoring the user's health via non-wearable devices. Of course, as is the case with all patents, it seems unlikely that all of these will appear in exactly these forms for the final product, but it's nonetheless an interesting look at what Nintendo has planned. So these are basically sketches as to concepts that we could potentially see in this quality platform for the future. Um, now one thing that I did find interesting as well too is that the first paragraph mentioned that this would be able to monitor your personal health without you having to wear any you know, devices or watches, etc, etc. And considering we're in the age of where smartwatches are kind of really popular now, Apple's doing them and Android's had a ton of them out now, uh, Motorola, LG, you know, there's been a ton of these wearable devices, but Nintendo is apparently proposing something here that doesn't have to be worn, that can monitor your health from you just being in its vicinity. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on here, but from this first sketch, you see that there's a... Is a, maybe that's a sun? I, I don't know. It's hard, I, mean, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know exactly what this is. Is that something that it's projecting onto the roof, or is that like a skylight that's coming in? Either way, I think it's something it's projecting. Um, so, as you can see, it looks like there's a smartphone-like apparatus chilling in the middle of a hub, and this is apparently going to be the platform. Now, considering how it looks here, this is definitely nowhere near final at all, so we can't judge it based on this entirely as to what the final product is or isn't, but it doesn't seem like it's a console too much to me, judging from the fact that it looks like there's two speaker grills on the front of it. It doesn't really seem like it would be a console, so apparently it does hook up to your smartphone in some form or fashion though. A little hard to tell, but um, this diagram may give people some insight if you understand Japanese, or maybe there's a translation in the article as well too. This information processing system comprises a portable terminal. The portable terminal detects sensor information for assessing a user's emotions. It would be permissible, as an example, for the sensor information to be sound information, which is detected by a microphone, or image information, which is captured by a camera. The information processing system assesses the user's emotions on the basis of the sensor information. The portable terminal detects the sensor information in a period when the port said portable terminal is in a standby state. As an example, the standby state is a state wherein the display of a portable terminal is off. Okay. The display system is provided with a sensor, a projector, and control means. The sensor detects user information for calculating a state relating to sleep of a user. The user information is, for instance, biological information, such as pulse rate. The projector displays by means of projection, so that is a projected display on the roof. Um, by means of projection, a predetermined image. For instance, the projector displays, by means of projecting, an image on a ceiling by projecting the image upward. The control means controls the player's, oh, okay, excuse me. The control means controls the projector's information, 
may corresponding to the sleep related state calculated on the basis of the user information so it seems like a lot of the terminology here is kind of going a little bit in a circle it's a little bit hard to keep up with because they're referring to certain things as the you know the descriptive name they don't want to give anything a solid name yet obviously because this is just a patent in its early stages but um, I can see what they're talking about for instance so this thing's going to be able to detect sleep patterns and display them on the ceiling but I can't really see how that would be like maybe, I can see it being appealing to some people but considering you're going to be sleeping for the most part how would the um, projection onto the ceiling actually work out in practice and would it really be that practical to use is what I'm saying um, okay so here we go more information a terminal system acquires physiological information from a user and transmits transmission information to a server system so this thing connects online said transmission information including the physiological information and slash or health relating to the health or the body of the user obtained from said physiological information the server system associates the transmission information received from each terminal system and or the information obtained from said transmission information with the user and stores these as stored information. The server system also stores conditions relating to the generation of provided information to be provided to the user in order to improve the metrics obtained from the stored information or metrics included in the stored information. The provided information is generated on the basis of the stored information and the conditions and is transmitted to the user's terminal. The server system per performs an analysis of transmission information acquired after the provided information has been provided for the plurality of users that have received the provided information and updates the condition on the basis of the analysis results. So it, from what that goddamn paragraph was saying in so many ways is basically there's going to be a server that's able to take the information from you, analyze it, and I guess give you feedback on what you should do to improve your condition and what is good, what's not good. Basically, everything that it's saying here is that so if your pulse is too high, for instance, the server is going to be able to collect that information and then send you maybe tips or ways to relieve that so that way your pulse can like calm down. Like, I, I don't know. It's a little bit hard to kind of get exactly what they're aiming at here, but at the same time, it's not that difficult. It's a little vague. Well, actually, it's extremely vague, which is the point of it being a patent. They don't want to give away their secrets too easily. However, I can kind of see where they're coming from. It's going to take your information, send it to a server. The server's going to give information back. That's basically it. All right, guys, so what do you think about this whole thing right now? Apparently, something's going to be projected on your goddamn ceiling with this device. I'm not sure what the hell it's going to be projecting exactly that would be pertaining to me as I sleep. But um, it would be interesting if it has something to do with your dream state. Like, that would be something cool to see displayed up above. Maybe it can display to you how much you slept, how good of a sleep you had, and maybe tips to improve your sleeping methods or something like that. I don't know. It's really vague at this point, but I like the idea of this thing being projected on the ceiling. So when you wake up, you see something exactly. So I guess the question at this point would be, what would Nintendo want to project on your ceiling for you to see every time you wake up? That's the question that I leave for you guys. What would Nintendo want to display to you when you wake up in the morning or when you go to sleep at night? Either way, it seems like this thing, you'll be able to move around to certain rooms with you, but for the most part, you're going to put it in a room and you're just going to go about your normal day and it'll keep track of everything that you do and all of your physiological stats and biometrics and etc. etc. I like the concept so far, but how well will it play out really when it comes to being in the user's home? Will it be practical? Will it be something that I'll be engaging with all the time? These are questions that I have here, and is this apparatus a cell phone or not? Hard to tell for now, but anyways guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you think this quality of life platform is going to work out judging by the early information that we have right now? That's up on Nintendo, man. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.